Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, group permissions within uh, Matomo Analytics to say user groups permission which allows you to uh, manage the, uh, the permissions to set the rights of a set of multiple users uh, thanks to it. So it's a community plugin, uh, you can find it within the marketplace at uh, the date of this video it's kind of um, uh, recent, as you can see, uh, 2022, and developed by Michael Ross. Um, the um, let's say the plugin is not like 100% perfect. Uh, so you have a uh, a GitHub uh, branch over here uh, created by the developer, on which you can of course suggest some uh, some new feature. But I would have to say that it does the job. Uh, so you just need to uh, install it and once it's installed then uh, you can start uh, to manage group permission. So you will see over here on the left uh, column um, something named group permissions which will be added which allow you then to uh, create uh, new groups. So to say uh, we can uh, for example here uh, create um, a new group and uh, in my case for example I have uh, those people uh, who are in this given group that I created that I named communication. So I'm gonna, let's say I create a group uh, for which, uh, by the way, I'm gonna maybe change the credential of this given group that I, that I created to so manage access. Uh, so this communication uh, group, I'm gonna put it to view mode, okay? So as you can see here within my groups that I created, which was named uh, communication, I had uh, those people, so Alvin, Julien, uh, Kubilai, Moran, and uh, Ronan. So Ronan, uh, so Moran currently has um, had uh, an admin access which was given thanks to uh, this given group and as you can see here I change it and I put it under view mode. And what's gonna happen now is that if I access back to uh, so manage access while well, it's over here, uh, there's a one, uh, oops, over here. So this is uh, the access of uh, of Moran. So normally if everything has been done correctly, now Moran uh, has um, a view access only. You can see the stuff, right? Because Moran was added to uh, the group permission, which was uh, communication. Now I'm going to create another group. I'm going to create uh, one for, let's say, the web dev team. So I'm going to create the group. Um, now I'm going to add people within the, this web dev uh, team group. So um, as I just created it, there's no one within it. So I'm going to add uh, a member. I'm going to add Moran. Uh, the only thing that uh, I think we need an improvement here is to have auto completion. As you can see here, um, I need to enter the, my user end by end, uh, I mean one by one. And of course, if I don't know their name, um, I won't be able to add them. So now, as you can see, Moran has been, uh, has been added to the group that I created. Uh, but the web dev team has no access at all. Uh, so dealing with uh, Moran, it means that she cannot do she cannot do much. But now I'm going to put it in admin. And now normally, if everything goes uh, smoothly, uh, she should be able now to have an admin access. So I'm just going to refresh uh, the thing, and normally I should get the full uh, left column. And as you can see now, she has an access to everything. So what is great here with the user group thing is that it's bypassing uh, the credential of the, let's say, uh, legacy access that you are giving to this person. In my case, uh, Moran only has a, a view access. And as you can see, thanks to the user group, then it's bypassing everything. So it's, it's really like uh, straightforward and, and correspond to everything that we can expect from a group permission. Um, plugin. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you today, the possibility that you have now in Matomo to create a user group thanks to um, the developer Michael Ross who uh, make it possible. Thanks to him and thanks for watching.